as a woman in Qatar, I feel very safe. Um, I can go out on my own and not feel worried about, about anything. Any time of the day or night, you can walk around. You don't have to worry and there's Ubers or there's Skype. You don't have to worry. I love how can I just walk either with my husband or alone and I know that no one will like approach me. It's the most controversial World Cup in history and a ball hasn't even been kicked. Qatari society and cultures based heavily on a strict interpretation of Islamic law and an ancient tribal system. Yeah, I was a bit worried about um, some stuff that's in sort of westernised media before I came over um, and I'd planned to out outfits to sort of accommodate the culture over here and um, so yeah, that's the only thing I've sort of had to alter, but it's all been fine. I think it was the unknown, wasn't it? But I think it's worked out a lot better than what yeah. people were thinking it would be. I think before coming, I'd heard a lot about the Middle East being restrictive, but like the news maybe seemed like Qatar and Dubai are a little bit more westernized, so I packed a lot of shorts. I did pack a lot of jackets, but when I got here, I felt more comfortable. I was a little bit worried about what to wear and what, like, what I wasn't allowed to wear, but everything I've bought, no one's ever looked at anything, and it, I just felt really safe. Only experience probably I had today where I felt a bit uncomfortable was when I went out in some shorts. Um, but apart from that, I think everything else has been... Did something happen? Like, did something no, happen? just kind of the, the, the looks and just the kind of the way that I was meant to feel, I think, really. I didn't feel like anyone was ever telling me I should be wearing something different. Um, or that there were restrictions. I did notice some signs, like we went to the museum today um, and I felt like there were some signs there advising women what they needed to wear. Beer will be banned inside stadiums in the conservative Muslim country. For me, beer and football go hand in hand. Everybody says, oh, they come hand in hand, but that's not the case. Because there's lots of fights and violence with alcohol, I think that in Qatar, they did the right, they made the right decision. You haven't got that fear of like, it's gonna, you're gonna get caught in something rowdy or you're gonna get shouted at by men that are really drunk and stuff like that. So I guess, yeah, for, a, for women, it's definitely gonna be a nicer experience.